So let's assume for a moment you want to add in an equation to Microsoft Word. Normally most people will go insert, they will find the equation object, and then you will start messing around with scripts and trying to do x squared and so on. And you'll be getting these menu buttons and it takes a while to go through all of those things where you might want to insert these things. Uh, but you don't need to do that. You can actually do it much quicker if you learn to use a couple of the typing commands. So to insert an equation, alt equals is the shortcut. And if you want to do x squared, you can type in x, then the caret symbol, which is shift six on most keyboards, to then spacebar, and it automatically will learn that. And you can also put subscripts in as well by using an underscore. So usually that shift, then the minus button on most keyboards as well. I, for instance, and it formats it as a subscript. So if you want to do chemical structures, you can do uh, chemical structures very, very easily. Like that, it will automatically format everything. Probably not the best option for doing chemical structures, but they are there anyway. So let's say you want to insert a thermodynamics equation. Let's put alt equal, and then you'd start inserting special characters to order to find a delta to make delta G well you don't need to do that you can just type in delta and it will format it as the uppercase delta if you do it all in the lowercase remember you've got to type them right and spell them correctly you actually get the lowercase delta so we can do delta G equals delta H minus T delta X we can also do the other delta G equation, if we do delta G equals minus RT log K, which is another equation there. And you can get as fancy as you like with these once you know some of them. So there are various useful characters as well. You can do times for multiply, you can use backslash PM. All of these things are preceded by a backslash and then you just start typing what it is and normally if you come up here and you have a look at what the tooltip says um, you can do it so say if you want the proportional symbol it's prop 2 and it inserts that as well and if you want to do things like fractions um, the forward slash will do it so we can say a type uh, Let's say type in an equilibrium constant. We want to do k underscore a equals. And this is where setting a little bit up before you start typing helps. I'm going to open and close a bracket, open and close a bracket again, forward slash, open and close a bracket, and then space bar to set that. And up here, I can do a caret sign minus to make the conjugate base, h caret sign plus to make the acid and the HA down there. And that's it. You can then start doing a lot more complicated things um, when you know most of the commands.